And the jury's out now as to whether we are going to come out of this recession and all the bad is behind us, or whether there is potential for us to go into that double dip recession. Mm. Yeah. What are your order books telling you? Our order books at, at, at Powertech are still challenged. We, we have not seen a massive uptick in demand. Um, and, and really, we're getting by on, on, a, on a market that is really buying based on, on what a reduced demand level is in, in, in the power tech side of things. In the IT side of things, uh, through Bytes, um, things are a, a little bit more optimistic there and volumes are holding up reasonably well, but pricing is an issue in today's environment, particularly from big customers like the banks and, and the retailers. Altec, on the other hand, is, is, is actually going quite well through this, through this phase, based on its strong percentage of annuity income, some 85%. So if you ask me on a general basis um, what the outlook is, I, I would like to say or think that the bottom has been reached, uh, but the recovery is going to be gradual and, and not, uh, not rapid. Robbie, every night that I, that I sit on the Business Tonight news desk, I chat to market commentators and I chat to, to CEOs. And at the moment, there seems to be a clear disconnect between what the CEOs are saying and what the, the market is expecting. CEOs are a lot more cautious. I'm reading it in what you're saying right now. But the market is running ahead of itself. I mean, we are certainly on the JSE all share back to almost heady highs. And we've got to find out whether the earnings momentum can sustain the valuation. What do you make of that disconnect between the market and really the people on the ground, the CEOs? I think part of it has been driven by the global environment where um, emerging markets have been in favor now over the last seven, eight, nine months. And that's resulted in, in fairly strong capital inflows, particularly into countries like South Africa, emer other emerging markets, and into their equity markets. And, and, and that buying power um, can cause the markets to move quite quickly as, as, as they have moved. Uh, I'm always cautious that as quickly as the money comes in in terms of investment into the country, it can go out just as quickly and in some, in some cases even more quickly. So, um, you know, my, my own view on, on, on the equity markets right now is that um, uh, th they are maybe a bit more optimistic than, than what current underlying corporate um, uh, feelings and earnings uh, and, and sentiment is, is being expressed. I think uh, I would agree with you. Corporate South Africa, the CEOs that I have contact with, um, paint a similar picture that um, we aren't going to see a rapid recovery in the next six months. This is a, the bottom has been reached and it's going to be a slow and gradual improvement from here. Um, that's the kind of sentiment I get. We run out of time, but you are about to celebrate your, your 50th birthday. Well, it's in the pipeline. Yeah. <laughs> is it a big one for you? Uh, I, it's a big one because uh, you know you never really uh, identify with uh, w with getting older until you hit uh, some of the the key the key marks. So 40 was a milestone, and 50 certainly is a, is a, is even a bigger a bigger milestone. Uh, but um, you know we're pretty low key, so we're not not going to be doing anything fancy or anything like that, uh, particularly in today's environment. It just maybe. Uh, creates an opposition or a position to to reflect a little more on 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 where you are and uh, reflect on where your career is and 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 the like and um, uh, you know uh, ho hopefully the the, the birthdays after 50 will come very slowly and f uh, few and far between.